as CCBSA, we actually have in excess of 2,000 units on South African roads today. We've got about 50 million kilometers that we have to plan each and every year. And that means that we've got a massive responsibility in terms of how we execute and deliver to our customers, but also to ensure that each and every one of those vehicles that we've got on the roads are safe and are effective in delivering to our customers. In logistics, no two days are the same, you know? It's a really fast-paced environment. Each day has got its own unique challenges and it's also one of the exciting aspects of this job. Our main focus is to drive compliance and bring about awareness with topics that impact our distribution and our commercial environments that we operate in. Route planning and route risk assessments remain the major aspect to ensure that they get to their destinations on time and safely. There's always room for improvement within the logistics space. In line to combat congestion on the road, CCBSA has a PBS program in place that allows us to transport up to 40% more volume on a single trip to ensure we reduce the number of vehicles that we have on the roads. We have iCab units that have been installed on our trucks that give us the competitive edge when it comes to looking at footage. We've piloted a project that allows us to monitor driver fatigue. As vehicles are starting to evolve within the industry, we will look at safety measures such as automatic braking systems, collision warning detection, as well as side review cameras to assist the driver better when he's traveling in traffic. partnering with uh, OEMs that are assisting us to be able to ensure that whatever vehicle that we bring in emits less through the technology that we've got in those particular vehicles. We've got stakeholder relationships that we maintain to the Department of Transport and specific stakeholders within the communities to ensure that how we run our business needs to be of benefit to our stakeholders internally and externally as well. As CCBSA, we're starting to look at uh, alternative uh, ways that we can uh, move our vehicles. We are willing to, you know, to be part of a pilot project, you know, in terms of electric trucks. You're going to start seeing some loads move towards the rail. Those are, you know, some of the opportunities that I feel uh, in the logistics environment is going to, to be the game changer. There's a wide range of economic benefits that comes from the transport system within CCBSA that contributes to the country's economic goals. It has a direct impact on job creation as well as new business owners, especially with our CCBSA owner driver program. I think four years back, uh, we had a, a female uh, logistics director, uh, Flora Jiga who went on a deliberate drive to say uh, there's too many men uh, driving trucks. She wants to see female uh, truck drivers. And we went on a, on a very rigorous uh, recruitment uh, whereby we deliberately asked uh, for potential candidates to be of female. As an owner driver, CCBSA means a lot to me because I had an opportunity to buy my own truck and to be in the logistic company. My highlights about my career is that I managed to buy my own truck in less than two years. CCBSA is supporting and encouraging us as female owner drivers to expand and want more in the business. My advice for young people who want to go into logistics, I would say it's not easy, but I would say go for it. It's a very good business. As the logistics fraternity, our biggest objective is to deliver stock to our customers on time and in full. It is not about us. It is about the shared value opportunities that we provide to our, to our customers and also to our stakeholders as a whole.